Hello everyone, in today's tutorial I will show you how to create this open door system in Android Engine 5 and this will also work in Android Engine 4. So as you can see, when we press on the E key, it will open and if we press it on it again, it will close. And if we spam on the E key, it will not actually like bug out. So you need to wait until the door is fully opened to close it again. So you can't spam on the door, so it, it is more realistic. So yeah, let's start. So what we'll do first is to create a new folder called BPs. So BPs for blueprints. Then go into it, create a new folder called door BP. Go into the folder. Once you're in here, you want to right click, go to blueprint class, and add a actor. So a blueprint actor. Then call it door slash BP. Now go into it. And now we want to get our mesh. So click on this add, get a static mesh, and just call it door. Then go to the static mesh right here and choose your mesh. Now I don't have a specific specific mesh that I will use, so I will just use the door that comes with uh, the Unreal Engine. Once you imported your door, you want to see that the pivot is right down in here in the corner. Because when you open the door, you want it to slide like this. But if your pivot is in the middle, right here, you can just add a cube. So right here. Then you can just scale it down. And then you want to parent the door to the cube. So just uh, have the cube on this corner right here. And then you can just click on the cube and rota rotate the cube because that will also rotate the door so yeah but my pivot is already set uh, right down there so now go into the event graph and then we want to delete all of these three nodes right there now we want to add the interaction system but if you don't have that you can just watch my previous uh, tutorial on it i will just pop up a link right up here in the corner so if you don't have the interaction system do that right now and then come back to this video. So what we want to do now is to go up to the class settings, then I want to implement that interface and I want to add the interaction interface. So right here interaction. Now I'll compile and save and click on this interaction right here. So now we have the event interaction right here. So out of the event interaction we want to get a branch. And the condition, we will just add that right now. So, go to the variables, click on this add icon, and then type in is door movi moving. Now, drag out is door moving, and want to get it. Then, out of the is door moving, we want to get a not boolean, so the door is not moving. Then, the not will go into the condition of the branch up there. Then, out of the true, we want to drag out is door moving and just add it right here to the true. And the box right here will be true, so the door is moving. Now, out of the is door moving, we want to add another variable called opening. Then, we want to drag out opening and connect it into here. Now, we want to drag out the opening variable. We want to get it. Then we want to add a not boolean. So it is not opening. Then just plug it in there. Now out of here we want to get a branch. And the condition will be right here. So drag that into the condition. Now the true will go out to add timeline. And the timeline will be called door slash tl for timeline now the true will go into the play and the false will go into the re reverse so when we close the door it will reverse this timeline now go into the timeline add a track called flow track then call it door alpha then change the length so how long you want the door to be opening and I will set it to about 2 seconds 
then add a key so hold down sh left shift and then left click and the time will be set to zero and the value will be set to zero as well then add another key so left shift and then left click and the time will be set to two so it is in, uh, at the end of the timeline and the value will be set to one compile and save then you can just click these two buttons to fit it to your screen and now you want to right click on this key right here and you want to click on auto so it creates this smooth line right there now compile and save go into the event graph and now you want to drag out the door so you want to get a reference to the door but if you use a cube you want to drag out the cube instead now out of the door we want to set relative rotation because we want to change the rotation of the door when we open it now from the update go into this right here then you want to split this pin so right click on new rotation and split strike pin so now we want to drag out of the yaw because we are rotating the door on the yaw as you can see so drag over the yaw want to get a lerp and then the a value will be set to the default yaw position so as you can see here go to the viewport click on the door and look at the rotation for the yaw you can see that the yaw is set to zero so then the a value will be also set to zero but if your yaw is maybe set to like 50 you want to change the a value right here to 50 but mine is set to zero so i don't need to change anything now when you open the door you want to change it to about minus a hundred so the b value will be minus a hundred just like that then just drag the door back to zero compile and save and now you want to drag out the east door moving and drag it onto the finished of the timeline and the value will be set to false and now out of the set relative rotation, we want to add a new variable called is finished. Now just drag it out and set is finished and plug these two in and the value will be set to true. So now if we compile and save and test it out, it will all work. So if you go to it, click on E, it will open. When we click on E again, it will close. So if we try to spam the E key because we open the door with the E, it will not close when we spam. So it will be fully finished and then we can close it again. So you can't close a door while it's opening. And that is very good so it doesn't like, uh, it's more realistic you could say. So yeah, that's the tutorial. I hope you liked it. And don't forget to join the Discord. We have a big community right there. So if you want any help or if you want to dro download like uh, projects that I release for free, you can join the Discord. So yeah, that's all. I hope you liked the video and I will see you in the next one.